My name's uh, Barry Sarche, and nobody's ever heard of Beeville, Texas. It's uh, South Texas, uh, just uh, probably 60 miles west of Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, very small town. I don't think the population is more than 12,000. Those are mostly Navy people. Might have been a little bit more than that. I'm not really sure, but uh, uh, that was a different experience altogether. I was assigned to uh, a training squadron, uh, VT-26. Uh, they trained pilots, uh, I think it was in their in, in jet flight. Uh, it was the next step from trainers to uh, now they're into training jets and they would take, they'd teach them how to actually land on the carriers and, and uh, depart or catapult off the carriers. Uh, so uh, we flew uh, T2Cs, a little training jet, the two-seater front and back uh, canopy. It's a neat little jet. Uh, uh, difficult to work on. It was older than the hills too. Uh, parts were scarce, uh, you know, hard to maintain, but uh, you know we kept them flying. That was our job. That's what we did, and that's what we did. Uh, so. Uh, during this time frame, I was there in, uh, from '78 uh, oh, till 1981, uh, and I made uh, just shortly after I got there, I made E6, uh, AE1, and uh, I guess I kind of pissed a couple of guys off in the shop because you know I, here I only had four years of of experience in the Navy, and a couple of these guys who were you know e, E2s also or AE2s in the shop were. Had a good 15 years in. Uh, however, uh, I made it before they did, so, which made me the senior enlisted man in the shop, and, and so I became that shop supervisor. Kind of, kind of pissed them off, but you know it's just the way it is. You know, you had your opportunity, that's mine. Uh, so, and while I was there, I, I got an unexpected surprise. Uh, I got a. Uh, uh, I was awarded the Navy Achievement Medal, uh, which was a big shock to me for my uh, services with HS-15. Uh, that uh, at some point, uh, well, I got to let this part out uh, of the, the last cruise I was on in America. Uh, there was a fire on board, and uh, I was one of the, one of the first to go into the birthing compartment, wake a few people. Uh, I got a a letter of accommodation for that, I got the, uh, you know, which was nice. Uh, you know, I'm not a hero, it's just something you do. Uh, the guys that jumped in the water to save these pilots, were, you know, those are the true heroes. They uh, they risked their lives uh, jumping in that water at night, you know, pitch black. Uh, and uh, so, you know, it was nice to get mentioned in that capacity. It was, it was okay. So, you know, I was there till, uh, Oh uh, my goodness! Well, I guess uh, a big part of left out too was while I was there. Uh, my son was born, you know. And, you know, this time I got to, I was there. I got to see it. It was great. Uh, named him after my dad. His name's Robert Lee Sarche the second, and uh, it was just a, a thrill to to be able to be there for that and after missing the first one. So uh, anyway, it, it was. Uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot to do in Beeville, Texas. Uh, and it was too far to drive to uh, Corpus Christi or even Houston or San Antonio or you know, it was just out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so, you know, we just made time, just had friends over, went over to some friends. And, uh, just wasn't a whole lot to do at all, at all. <laughs> Uh, it was about almost as bad as being on a ship because there was nothing to do there too. Uh, so I might have picked a better duty station, but I wanted to be closer to home, which was uh, Beeville was probably a uh, six-hour drive from Cleburne, which is uh, just south of Fort Worth. Uh, so uh, I got my uh, orders or discharge papers. Uh, and of course, the captain, you know, they always want to try to keep you in. Uh, however, you know, and I wish I had a state. I, I would, you know, if I'd have stayed, I was 20 years old and came in, I could have retired at 40. I was a E6 
you know, there's only three more ranks above E6, that's E7, 8, and 9. Uh, and my chances of, uh, e, of making E9 were, were great with 14 more years of service that I could have done. And something I really, really thought about, something I really, really wanted. However, my wife at the time said, no, enough's enough, you know, either you go or I go, uh, which is an ultimatum I really didn't want to hear. Uh, and there was no re enlistment bonus for my trade, unfortunately, either. So it would just been given the rest of my life for basically a measly salary. <laughs> it was kind of hard to uh, uh, raise a family of four on the salary, but you know, we may do. You know, uh, when I was with HS15, there were times when. A uh, group of us that actually that are here at the reunion, we would get together and pile our food together and, and make uh, a meal for you know three families, and uh, we did that uh, often. Uh, it brought us all closer together, and uh, so you know I was discharged in uh, oh my goodness, uh, April of eight nineteen eighty one, and while I was in the in the uh, in Beeville, they basically did have a little community college there. It's called Bee County College. Uh, I actually started night school there. Uh, it was something, uh, well, I guess I didn't have the discipline to go to college after high school. I was not ready for that. So while I was there, uh, you know, I got an offer to, you know, if you go to school, you know, uh, I've got a job for you. Uh, okay, um, I couldn't pass that up. I had the GI Bill with me, uh, of course, after I got out of, of, of the Navy, but uh, uh, I went to school, spent about a year at B County College, and uh, I did night school. I, you know, I thought, well, you know, I might be able to do this. You know, I was doing pretty well. And, uh, I had to, you know, my biggest problem back when I was out of high school was I didn't want to. I did, couldn't concentrate. I, I couldn't, you know, I didn't have the discipline to sit down and study. Uh, there was other things to do. I was too young, for, you know, I wanted to do other things. So, but I, I sat down, I strapped myself down, I actually made it uh, through several classes there at Bee County College. Uh, I got out in, I think, April uh, of uh, 1981. Uh, I went home. Uh, Unfortunately, I didn't have a place to live, so I lived with my wife's uh, mom and dad. They put us up for a while while I was going to school. I went to the University of Texas at Arlington in Arlington, Texas. Uh, I finished, uh, uh, I was, my degree was in pharmacy. Uh, I did all my pre-pharmacy uh, work at the University of Texas in Arlington. Uh, left, which was two years later, uh, went to Got accepted at the University of Louisiana Monroe, which is now uh, called, uh, well, at the time it was called Northeast Louisiana, uh, and now it's called University of Louisiana Monroe uh, Pharmacy School. Spent three years in pharmacy school there, uh, graduated there with a BS degree in pharmacy in 1985. Uh, GI Bill got us through that, surprisingly. GI Bill was five hundred and something dollars a month. You only got four years of that, uh, so I, I used every bit of it, uh, and we survived somehow on five hundred and I think it was five hundred and fifty something dollars a month. It was it was tough. Both kids in school, well, one in school started first and second grade there. Uh, my son, you know, was in uh, daycare, which we had to pay for it. And trying to feed and do you know your rent, your electricity, and everything. It was just uh, it was hard, but we survived. Uh, so I actually passed the Texas State Board of Pharmacy the NAPLEX exam in uh, December of 1985, and I became a registered pharmacist. Uh, I had my own business for 20 years, uh, and it got kind of tough uh, with insurances, and you know I'm going to all that because it's irrelevant. Uh, but I sold it. My business to Walgreens in uh, 2005, uh, and I've been working at Walgreens since then uh, for the last 11 years. So, 
Uh, it's been quite an experience. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, I had to do every bit of it all over again. So, and that's why we're here. Who would have thought 40, well, let's see, it was 81, so what is this, is uh, 16, we're talking uh, 45 years that uh, we'd have guys that you served with 45 years ago here. And to have eight people here out of a squadron that, uh, you know, we all live in all parts of the country. I live in Texas. Uh, one lives, both live here in Buffalo. One lives in Georgia. One lives in Kentucky. One lives in uh, uh, Detroit. Uh, you know, so, we're, you know, we're spread out pretty much all over the place. And for us to all come together for this, and that's not just us. There's, a, there's almost 200 others. Uh, here that you know we just there you know sit and you know share stories you know we re re get reacquainted uh you know it, it's just something that you can't beat in the outside world i don't think you could work for any corporation or any company and have what we have here it's just uh unbeatable